Hi guys, I'm Minardio5 and welcome to another Railway Empire video. This time we're going to be doing the Gold Rush scenario, set in 1850. Um, as always, I'm going to put the rail network on easy, pause mode onto Trainiac. Strong leadership I want to use the general just because his track building costs are cheaper. So, start off by building a, uh, a station between Sacramento and San Francisco. Bear in mind, this is a long scenario. No AI competitors to worry about on it, though. So, first rail arm built, get some supply towers on the go. And uh, get our first train, transporting some express goods. Tasks here can set connect Shasta, Carson City, and San Francisco. It's task number one. So that will be Shasta. One of the latest tasks is for transporting a lot of gold to San Francisco. So once the um, the AI lets us know that the gold is available, gold to be mined, we can start transporting that to San Francisco. The trains don't tend to take the gold um, if you leave them to their own devices. So you have to prioritise the gold as one of the goods you want them to transport. Do start off with a considerable amount of, uh, of money on this one, so gets us off to a nice start. So that should be task number one completed. Once we build this, there we go. The first cities are connected to each other. So, we'll also connect this um, wheat farm as Carson City wants wheat to make beer, to make ale. We'll also create a, create a, an express train there. We'll connect Gold Beach to our network as well. Actually, we won't because we're out of money. Get this uh, cattle farm connected to San Francisco. A train, obviously, so the goods are being transported. 200 freight cars and 5,000 passengers are, are at other tasks to start with. There's an industry starts free there in Sacramento, but we don't have any money to to do anything. We do later need to uh, make alcohol, transport gold, and establish an express link between San Francisco and Los Angeles. So we'll have a freight train transporting. Uh, Meet up to Shasta and bring beer back to San Francisco. Make another line here for Sacramento to be supplied with with cattle. It attracts more gold seekers here and for many of them. So there we go. Passengers are done. You did mention about gold there. Just monitoring my trains at the minute. Upgrading my express trains to um, dedicated express locomotives, Tyson 10 wheeler. Mm -hmm. 
create a freight train to transport meat to Carson City and beer back to Sacramento. We're joining Gold Beach now to our network. Well, we're joining Gold Beach to the wheat farm at the minute, just so Gold Beach can create some more ale. Now we'll now we'll join um, Gold Beach to our network. If we can get it cheap enough. We are already transported a large amount of There's the uh, 200 freight cars done as well. Another task down. Another passenger train. We'll uh, use some innovation points here, accelerating train maintenance. Obviously, on this um, on this scenario, as you've got no competitors, any bids that any auctions that pop up, you place one bid, you automatically win it. We do have to get Carson City up to a population of hundred thousand as well. So that can be worked on. There, we've created a locomotive to transport wood and cotton to Carson City. Maintenance buildings I've been kind of neglecting so far. Don't forget about those. So We'll connect these rural businesses as well to our network. We'll get them to supply some cities. Supply in Sacramento to start with. A single train to transport the uh, cotton. And then one train to transport the other two. The fruit isn't really wanted yet. We'll also create a line so that San Francisco can be supplied. Once we can afford it. Get some logs transported to San Francisco. Create a train for the fruit and the vegetables, even though that won't be used yet. But it's set up ready. More innovation points. Expand, expand now to Bodhi. Just generate a bit more income. By getting a... Uh, Express train. As you can see, there's an industry now in Carson City for cotton to be turned into fabric. So, we'll sort that out in a minute. Join the corn farm, wheat farm here. Carson City is growing. Set up a train to transport corn to Bodie and Carson City, depending on who needs it. As you can see, there's a lot of gold in uh, Carson City. I'm not trying to start transporting it yet. We'll just uh, double the supply of cotton to Carson City and join uh, 
These two businesses to my network now as well. They can supply Shasta and Carson City. So that's that done. That'll help with the growth. Sacramento as well. Set up another freight train between those two. Bonus here for an industry in San Francisco. So we'll make a distillery and get working on the alcohol. Not necessary to join that sugar farm to the network, but I'm going to use that to supply Sacramento and, uh, and San Francisco, just to help with their growth. As you can see, before I could do anything there, the connection bonus disappeared. So... Although this route will gain me a bit of income, I was only building it for the connection bonus initially. However, it turns out, as you can see, it's quite uh, hard of a route for passengers, full train of passengers straight away. Innovation points racking up nicely, so we'll unlock some more stuff we'll uh, build a tunnel through the middle now so that Carson City and Sacramento are much closely are much closer in rail uh, rail distance I also want to use these farms to supply Carson City. When I can finally get these rails sorted out. Nine hundred and sixty odd thousand. Considering how quickly my money's going up now, that's not so bad. Got plenty of income. So this is the line for um for the farms to supply Carson City. And also reduce the journey times of, uh, of all the trains across. I'm not quite sure why I built a university there instead of a museum. I wouldn't suggest copying that. We'll, uh, we'll connect this fattening now to our network as well. And get that to supply Carson City. Just add some maintenance buildings around. For freight only. And as we select Carson City, we can prioritise the gold, which uh, should have been doing a lot earlier. As you can see, San Francisco is growing as well. we 
will um, increase the supply there to San Francisco of the fruit and veg. As you can see, they're lacking in Carson City is lacking in clothes. So we'll have the uh, a train there transporting fabric over to um, Shasta and then hopefully taking the clothes back. We'll also get Sacramento supplying some fabric. Expand the stations here just so the loading times are shorter. Get some bonds just to boost our funds a bit. So our, far, our final task at the bottom, we need eight cities with a population of eighty thousand. So we need to work on growing quite a few cities: Sacramento, San Francisco, and Carson City. A three you definitely want to do. Shasta is almost a given as well so that's four you can grow Bodhi as well which will give you five and then the other three cities are mainly down to personal preference I think I end up growing uh, Elko on this one as one of them I have grown Salt Lake City before, I've grown Winnemecca before. But again, it depends on your personal preference. So, we'll build a train here between San Francisco and Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City and Elko. I'm going to connect this uh, cattle ranch to Milford and then Milford up to Salt Lake City as well. Now what I do here is I drag this track over here just to displace the Indians so that we can do get that achievement to relocate an Indian village. I'm not sure if they always appear in the same spot. But whenever you're building tracks, you can see an Indian village on your map located as a uh, orange coloured uh, circle. You can choose to compensate them for moving them or not. If you choose not to compensate them, they do end up attacking your, One of your connected cities has reached a respectable size. trains later in the game. So, if you've got the money, definitely compensate them. So we'll just get some more gold transported there to San Francisco. Also from Shasta. Yeah, I'm trying to work on the 2,000 passengers from San Francisco to Salt Lake City. Although when you think about it, that's a considerable amount for a route that's not very popular. So it's not necessary to do that um, to that task to get present on this mission, on this scenario. Again, we're just bulking up our supplies to cities that need it. Messing around with the uh, which freight's being transported there. I'm gonna join Los Angeles to our network as well now. Just so we can do the uh, express link.
I'm not sure why I'm going so close to the sea here. Try and build a, build a railway into the, the other end of the station rather than use the same rails as all the freight trains that are driving around. And there's our express train or our passenger train done between the two. So hopefully it will get classed as an express train soon and that will be another task done. Unlock a few more trains here. Connect that cattle, uh, cattle ranch to Los Angeles so we can supply them with meat. As you can see now, I'm not so worried about uh, train routes. Not so worried about the train routes as uh, I'm one is increasing rapidly. And also, I've got uh, this scenario confused with a, with the last campaign mission. There is no task for an express route between San Francisco and Los Angeles. However, there is a task for building a university in Los Angeles. So, if we can grow Los Angeles, that'll be uh, that'll be cool. So there's our 200 gold transported. Plenty of innovation points as well, again. Another connection bonus there. Not gonna bother with it though. Just get some uh, get some logs supplied to Bodhi here. Get a freight train set up between Bodhi and San Francisco, uh, Sacramento. Sorry. Hopefully, try and grow Bodhi now. As you can see, San Francisco's got got over eighty thousand inhabitants now. So, four cities down, four to go. Oh, my mistake, there isn't an express line between San Francisco and Los Angeles. I thought there was. Try not to clog up the line you use between San Francisco, San Francisco and Los Angeles with any freight trains. As if your express trains get stuck behind them, obviously they'll, they'll transport slower, they'll travel slower. And might not be classed as an express route. So again, they're just expanding. Expanding our network around. Creating some more routes for express trains and stuff. Not really like we need the income now. But it will hopefully help with this growing our uh, our cities. Connected Portland there to our network. And Kingman. San Diego also was connected a while ago. Another task done, we've delivered, delivered uh, enough liquor for that task to be completed. Bodhi's steadily growing, 20,000 inhabitants now. That connection bonus keeps popping up. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, now it's just a case of working on growing the cities. So just use your uh, city screen, check what the cities need to be supplied with, and whether they're being supplied with enough of everything. Obviously, if not, increase your supply, the amount of trains you're using. I'm going to work on growing Los Angeles here. Two important cities are now connected by an express train. And there's the express link done. As you can see, I've not got Salt Lake City very well supplied at all. So we've got um, a freight train transporting meat to Elko. I'm going to set up a supply of wheat to Elko now and then the beer should get taken back to Salt Lake City which will help each of those cities to grow. We'll see if we can get Winnemecca to grow as well. We'll supply so let's do with some wood. Just having a look where I can get some corn from here. So we can start supplying some of the cities down here with corn. And we'll join that uh, that station to our line down here to create a shorter route over to Milford and Salt Lake City. It also enables us to have cattle coming down to Kingman. And of course, express trains as well. Obviously, although uh, Salt Lake City has no brewery, they do still want wheat supplied. All cities start off with the same basic needs. Wheat, corn, cattle, even if they don't have the industries for it. Uh, it's very easy to overlook. Try and make sure you remember it probably should have mentioned it earlier but hey better late than never let's spend some more of our innovation points here and that's all the trains from this era unlocked with our innovation points which is what I was just looking at there I don't understand why the achievements not popped yet And I think what it is, I think um, there's a couple of trains that are locked in this scenario, possibly. Or perhaps we already have that achievement, although I'm pretty sure we don't. Just connect this train to our network just to um, give us a connection bonus. And once again, before we build the line, it's gone. Not to worry, we can get some express lines made. As you can see, Los Angeles is growing. We'll get, uh, get it supplied with some veg and some fruit there. 
And I've duplicated that train. As you might have seen there, still at, after all this time there's only been 50 passengers transported to Salt Lake City from San Francisco. It is a very slow task which is why I don't think we get it completed. 20 million dollars now in the bank and it's absolutely flying up. So we have a really nice income now, don't need to worry at all about that anymore. And yeah, it's just about growing the cities now. Any cities you choose to to grow to complete the mission. So the faster we can get that done, the faster we complete the scenario. As you can see, Bodhi's growing well as growing quite well. So Bodhi will become our fifth city to reach 80,000 inhabitants. Los Angeles is probably going to be our sixth. As you can see, once it gets to 60,000 inhabitants, we'll build a university Education. and complete that task. And now we're going to demolish it, build a museum to help the city grow faster. If you wanted to wear museums, increase the fulfillment of demand by 10% which obviously massively helps in growing cities. So that should be uh, well enough for Los Angeles to reach 80,000. So that'll be six cities set up. Just gonna create a line here for milk and iron to be joined to our network well more milk and then iron iron to supply Los Angeles coal also right next door we'll get that to Los Angeles as well Los Angeles has a, uh, a toolmakers industry now. There we go. I'd missed one of the uh, the trains, so we've got another achievement for unlocking all locomotives from this era. Five cities down, three to go. Los Angeles is, was practically there when we had a look now. Elko is halfway there. So Elko can be city number seven. Just make sure Elko is supplied a bit better here. Bonus there for an express line between Shasta and Los Angeles. Although, with it being such a long route, I don't think it's going to be confirmed as express before the bonus disappears. Make sure Elko supplied with milk here. My tool makers has popped up there as well. So we'll get some iron supplied. And uh, spend some innovation points. I 
as you can see I'm looking to see if there's any uh, better place coal to supply our coal that one's marginally better than the one we've already connected to our network so join that and use that Salt Lake City is up to 60,000 so we can build a museum there in a minute So yeah, Salt Lake City and Alco are the two cities we've got to go. And there we go, museum built. So uh, with this being the first scenario and no AI in it, don't be fooled into thinking all of them are this easy. I don't think this is the easiest one, but it's by no means hard. And they, apart from one or two, they only get harder. As soon as you start getting competitors, there is a massive risk of being bought out. So you've got to, got to learn to work fast with your growth, which is why it's not so important to go for your freight and to plant cities straight away in some of them and uh, try and get a good base for good base for your express trains and income to start with we have just unlocked another achievement which is simply for having a hundred trains in use at once it can be achieved on any mission on any map just simply a case of having a hundred locomotives used it's pretty straightforward As you can see, we've got a uh, massive build-up of lumber in Salt Lake City. Elko's growing well. Winnemuc has just grown as well. Although I think that's only just grown up to 40,000. Just waiting here, look for Elko to reach 60,000. We can build a museum there then. I'm running out of things to spend my innovation points on. And Salt Lake City is stored at 70,000 inhabitants. As you can see, there's practically no supply to the city at the minute with it being so far from a lot of the supplying farms but what you'll find is you might get all your trains that are supplying a city turn up at once and the supply of the city will just skyrocket build a bought out the meat factory there in Kingman and made a dairy farm because that will enable us to transport cheese around as we have enough uh, meat industries on the map already and there we go, we'll make sure cheese is supplied to Salt Lake City the museum in Elko there Elko is actually not the best supplied city, but it's growing. Seventy-five thousand in Salt Lake City now. So we're edging closer to our objective. And Salt Lake City is growing again. Elko is growing. <laughs> We've got uh, nearly $45 million now. Going up quicker than we can spend it. So 
So there we go, we've got some cheese supplied to Elko on that train. Salt of the city is stored once again at 78,000 this time. Get some more wheat supplied and some more logs supplied. some beers coming from Carson City and some corn as well some more beer although I was intending for that to be clothes so I'll create another train instead I created one between uh, Bodhi and Elko there oh, there was nothing that Bodhi had Elko wanted so it's actually turned out to be a pointless train get Elko another supply of sugar and veg and uh, as you can see the train took just sugar same thing again for Salt Lake City Just Elko to go now because I think uh, Salt Lake City was over 80,000 then. As you can see, I've only got a single rail station, so by expanding it there to four rails, it will enable faster loading and unloading of trains, which will help your supply. As you can see, I'm not paying enough attention here, and I'm making pointless trains. There we go, scenario was a success. We got uh, an achievement for completing our first scenario. President rating as well, another achievement. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.